So let's see who likes pumpkin in my house. Do you like pumpkin? Yeah. Yes. <sighs> Not really. Mm-hmm. Kind of. Now, people that know me the best know that cookies are my weakness. And right after that is all things pumpkin. So today I've got five different recipes that you can whip up right in your air fryer. So grab your pumpkin puree and let's go. Up first, I'm gonna make some pumpkin pie cake bars. Now for these pumpkin pie cake bars, we're gonna use some classic yellow cake mix, but we're only gonna use half the box since I'm cutting this recipe in half. So what I'm doing is getting this nice bowl and I'm gonna measure it out because the box is gonna be divided for different parts of the recipe. So if you don't make a mess here, we can see that there's about 430 grams in the entire box. And what I'm gonna do is just take out 215 grams. I don't have to worry about you know, switching out bowls because I'm just gonna subtract it from here until it weighs 215 grams and I'm almost there. There we go, I'll call that close enough. So we can put half of the mix aside and we will save it for something else that I'm gonna show you later down the road. Now from this half of the mix, I'm gonna get a half cup of it and set it aside because it's gonna be used for the topping. Now with this remaining cake mix, I've got a quarter cup of melted butter I'm gonna add in. I did let this cool to room temperature, but now it's starting to get a little bit too solid. It'll work out okay though. And then next we need a half an egg. What the heck, how are we gonna do that? Keep watching. I wanted to show you a how we split these recipes in half, especially when we have like half a box, half a can, things like that. We wanna get it accurate. So we're gonna turn on our scale here and go ahead and just crack your egg in a dish and you'll see it's weighing about 57 milliliters or grams, milliliter and gram comes to the same measurement. Now we wanna whisk this up really good. Now some of you I'm sure are wondering, why are you having a recipe? Why don't you just make the full thing in an oven? Well, I know that there's a lot of you that are single people or older people, empty nesters, and you just really don't need a huge nine by 12 pan of treats. So I'm making smaller versions of the recipe. I will put oven instructions down below as well for people that just wanna use their oven. So once it's nice and mixed, you'll see the measurement should still be the same. There we go, 55 grams. And just for kicks and giggles, let's just see how that looks when we measure it out. Just barely over three tablespoons. If I put that down nice and level, not quite four, but for right now I'm gonna put this back in here. Oh, it's almost see. I left a gram inside that other cup. So now you simply are going to cut this number in half. So half of 55 slash 54 is about 27 grams. So you're gonna just pull out enough egg till this gets down to 27. So it won't be a full another tablespoon or will it? There we go. So now we've got the 27 grams left. So we have half the egg in the mixture. And I'm just showing you another reason why I absolutely just love my kitchen scale. So handy and useful for times like this. So we're gonna just mix this up and it's gonna be nice and thick. Today I'm gonna use a seven inch spring form pan. If you have this cake barrel from the air fryer accessory kits, that would work as well. Or I even have a seven inch cake pan that will work. I will link to all of these down below. To be safe, I do just wanna lightly spray the bottom of that pan. I know some people also like to put parchment paper down there. But since we've got our handy dandy oil sprayer, we'll just use it. Now go ahead and spread the batter right into the bottom of your pan. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Go ahead and spread this around. It's kind of thick. You really could use your fingers too if you want to. So now we're gonna just put this little guy in here and we're gonna give this layer a little bit of a head start on the baking process. And we will go for 320. I'm gonna start 10 minutes. I'm going to put that shake reminder just so I can take a peek at about five minutes. While that's cooking, we're gonna get the next layer ready. And now I've got my scale switched over to show me ounces and we're gonna do seven and a half ounces of pumpkin pie puree or pure pumpkin. It's not the pie filling. And if you're buying the big old cans, you just need seven and a half ounces. Or if you're buying the regular cans, it's just half a can, which actually comes out to, to about three quarters of a cup. So there we go, our seven and a half ounces. And then we're gonna add in a third cup of milk and this time just one egg and we'll just mix that together. Okay, this filling is looking good. Got all the egg blended in there. And let's take a peek here after five minutes. It's looking good. I'm gonna just let it keep on going. And for the last step, there's our half cup of cake mix that we set aside. And in here, I've got two tablespoons of sugar and a half teaspoon of cinnamon. 
I'm gonna just add that. Just give that a quick little mix. And then I've got two tablespoons of room temperature butter. I'm gonna throw in here, this is our crumble topping. Just blend that up, you should have some little crumbles. Okay, it's done. Go ahead and take that out. I'm gonna close this up to keep it warm. Okay, the next step is to put in our pumpkin layer. Spread it out as thin or as thick as you would like it. This portion is not super sweet. The sweetness is coming from the crust and from the topping, but it's definitely nice and pumpkin-y. And the last step is that glorious crumble. Now, here's a little hint. When it comes to crumble toppings and air fryers, it's gonna blow it all around. So, we have a couple options here. Now, yes, we do have butter in there, but if you want, you could kind of lightly spray. It will just kind of weigh that down a little bit so it doesn't blow everywhere. Or you could cover that with foil and then just take the foil off the last couple of minutes. But we're gonna just go with that spray that I did. So pop it back in the air fryer. And we're gonna hit this back down to 320. And we'll start with 10 minutes and see how it looks. Okay, here we go. And that looks beautiful. Okay, since I'm like cutting the oven time in half here for the air fryer, I'm just gonna poke with the fork. I think I'm gonna give it a little more time. This is nice and golden, but I feel like we can definitely brown that a little bit more if we want to. So crank it back down to 320 and let's give it five more minutes. All right, let's take a peek. That looks wonderful. I'm gonna call it good. So we're gonna let this cool. Let's see how the spring form pan goes. It's all cooled down. Yay, it's beautiful. Top it with whipped cream, yum, yum. Now I'm doing things a little bit different. I'm gonna make all these recipes, then I'm gonna have the kids help me taste test all of them at the end. Up next, I've got the easiest recipe. It's three ingredients, and I'm gonna show you how to make it work as donuts or cookies. Okay, for the base of these two recipes, you just need a spice cake mix and pumpkin pie filling. But with the spice cake mix, it just has all that extra seasoning that we want, so yummy. And then just throw in the can of the pumpkin puree. And you know what, since we have that pumpkin spice mix, I'm gonna throw a tablespoon in there too. And then just give that a stir up. You don't need beaters or a blender or anything, just you and your spoon, yum yum. Now it's all combined. Look how easy this one is. Are you ready for a trick? To put this batter in the little donut pan, it's a little messy tricky. But if you get a plastic bag, cut the corner off, get a cup, then put the little opening down at the bottom of the cup and then fold it over. Then you can just spoon however much batter you want to right inside the bag. And you just made your own little DIY piping bag. Now we've got the donut pan. I've sprayed that down and just rubbed the oil around it. And this is a little hole we just cut for ventilation. We cut, this was actually a pan of six. I've used this in a couple other videos. I will link to those below. I have other delicious donut and pancake donut recipes. So now you're just gonna squirt that filling right into each little donut cavity. So much faster, so much easier, less messy. And there you go, ta-da. Now if you want to, you could make more batches of the donuts or I'm gonna use the same batter and make cookies. I'm just gonna smooth this out a smidgey with my fingers. It doesn't matter too much because this is actually the bottom of the donut. I'm just gonna pop these in the air fryer. See how nicely that fits. Drop this down to 3.30 and we're gonna start it at six minutes. All right, six minutes in. They're cute and puffy. Let's take a quick internal temp. So they're looking pretty good. Let's give them two more minutes and I'm just gonna drop that temp down a smidge. All righty, let's do a little toothpick test. These are looking good. I'm gonna let them rest for a second. I'm gonna finish up my glaze here. I'm just doing some melted butter and cream cheese. I add a little cream cheese because I just wanna get that cream cheese flavor with the pumpkin. All right, now I'm gonna throw in a cup of powdered sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla and just whisk that up. Okay, we're gonna do about two tablespoons of hot water and we can add more if we need to. Now, normally when I make this, I don't have the cream cheese in it, so it's usually beautiful and smooth, but maybe we might have some cream cheese lumps. We'll see how it looks. Okay, now that these have cooled a little bit, just gonna carefully pop them over to a baking sheet. And look how cute those are. Now when it's cooled just a smidgey, pop them right there in the icing. Oh, yummy. Set them on a wire rack, parchment paper underneath to catch those drippings. If your icing's not quite thick enough, go ahead and add just a tiny bit, like a tablespoon more of hot water. Now to turn this into cookies, we are just gonna throw in some chocolate chips. I'm eyeballing it, I got about a cup there. 
and you just cannot go wrong with pumpkin and chocolate chips. Am I right or am I right? Okay, time to throw those cookies in. Now, here I'm using a reusable silicone liner. I've had a lot of you ask me about them. My trick though is that you do still need to put the oil on them because they're not non-stick. Now with these, since I don't think they will spread too much, so I can get nine in the air fryer. And I love how easy it is to use my little cookie scoop, but these come out so much easier. Okay, let's pop them in. The oven directions say 350 for about 15 minutes, so we're gonna drop it down to 330, and let's start with eight minutes. Alrighty, what do we think here? They look pretty good. Let's go two more minutes, back to, at 330. They held their shape so well. And look how nicely these pop right off after they've cooled. Now check out these simple and easy pumpkin pie turnovers. For this one, you need some puff pastry sheets. They do need to be thawed, so you'll wanna set them out about an hour before you start. And if you don't have this where you live, you can also look into phyllo dough. Phyllo, phyllo? Phyllo dough, I think. <laughs> Okay, so three quarters cup or half of a 15 ounce can of pumpkin puree. Then I'm adding in a quarter teaspoon of my pumpkin pie spice. And in here I've got two and a quarter teaspoons of brown sugar and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Hello brown sugar, get out, there we go. And a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. And we'll just whisk that all together. This is gonna be our delicious filling. Now once your puff pastry is thawed, go ahead and just open it up. And we're gonna cut it into four big pieces here. You could go smaller if you want and make little mini turnovers, but I'm gonna have a little bit bigger ones today. And then next, just get a nice heaping spoonful and put it on half of the square. Then you're gonna just fold these babies in half and it's okay if a little filling pokes out. All right, maybe I did too much filling. We'll take a little bit out. I guess this recipe makes extra filling. So maybe just do the filling recipe and use two puff pastry sheets. That's what I'm kind of thinking here. We know how to adjust and adapt, right? There we go. This part is totally optional, just if you wanna make it look a little more fancy schmancy. I'm gonna go ahead and throw down parchment paper. These come right off super easily. Now I'm gonna put it in the basket, and guess what? Remember my half egg? Now it's going to be my egg wash. I added just a smidge of water to make it easier to brush over the tops of these beautiful little pastries. This will just give it such a nice, beautiful, finish in the air fryer. And here we go. We're gonna go with 350 for eight minutes. We might add on two more. Okay, let's take a peek. Oh, look at that. Oh, puff pastry in the air fryer is so glorious. So I'm gonna just pull these out of my air fryer to let them cool on a new parchment paper because I got more cooking to do. Remember the glaze we used on our pumpkins? Can use that on these turnovers as well. We've got one more and it's healthy. Yes, healthy. Healthy pumpkin bread coming right up. First, you'll need two tablespoons of avocado oil or coconut oil that's melted. Next, we need a half cup of honey. Here's my little trick in case you didn't know it. Alexa, how many grams and a half cup of honey? Half cup of honey weighs about 170 grams. 170 grams. Thank you, Alexa. I'm gonna just pour this right in here. It's gonna be so much faster, so much easier. I guess the only problem is if I actually do a little bit too much, it'll be a little more challenging to pull out because I have it mixed in with the oil. There we go, 174, not too bad. So first I'm gonna beat this together. You can do a hand mixer or if you have a stand mixer, that'll be fine too. Just wanna get the oil and the honey incorporated nicely. Next we're gonna add in a third cup of plain Greek yogurt. You could use vanilla if you want. It will just add a little more sweetness to your bread. So we'll mix that in. We just want everything to be nice and smooth and blended. Next you need a room temperature egg. If you didn't pull it out ahead of time, you can just let it sit for a couple minutes in a bowl of warm water and that'll warm it right up. And we'll blend this too. Now we're gonna add in a whole can of the pumpkin puree, 15 ounces or one and a half cups. There we go. And we need a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Now go ahead and boil in that up. Okay, now that that's nice and smooth, I don't need the beaters anymore. Now I've got one teaspoon of baking soda, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, a quarter teaspoon of cloves, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and I'm gonna just throw this right over the top of my yummy batter here. And at this point, I'm just gonna be using my little 
spoon to mix everything up. Then the last thing we're gonna do is add in one and a half cups of white whole wheat flour. Um, that's also 180 grams. I thought I had some and it's all gone. So I'm just using white all purpose flour. And at this point, you just wanna fold it in until the white streaks are gone. We don't wanna over mix here. So definitely healthier if you're using that white whole wheat flour. But hey, something's better than nothing, right? Get the honey to sweeten it up, it's gonna be wonderful. Here you can see, no more white streaks, it's ready to go. Now this recipe calls for an eight by four bread pan. I got this one, it comes out to a little bit wider than that, but the base works. And then if you watched my homemade bread in the air fryer recipe, you saw me use these. And because I've got a little bit more of a runny batter and I've got these cute holes down here in the bottom, I just cut a strip of regular baking paper and I'm putting that at the bottom. And I'm gonna just lightly spray, and we'll see if I have extra, I'll throw some extras in here. I love this pan as an option because I can put the lid on to keep it from burning. So I'm gonna just spoon this batter in. And honestly, this one's gonna be interesting because I'm not sure how great this quick bread is gonna work in the air fryer. So it'll be fun to test it out and see. Oh my goodness, it looks like it's all gonna fit in here. Awesome. Okay, I just wanna level this out a smidgy. I'm really excited to see how this turns out. If you do have a lid or even foil, you'll for sure wanna use foil because we're gonna be cooking this for a little while. And because it's so close to the heating element, your top will burn if you needed to get it all the way cooked through because this is so dense. So I'm gonna cover this up. The regular oven directions call for 325 for like over an hour. So this guy's gonna fit perfectly in there. And if you watch my video that shows you how to convert any recipe for the air fryer, I tell you to knock it down about 25 degrees and then we're gonna do about half the time. So I'm gonna crank this up to 30 minutes and we'll peek at it and see how it's doing. Okay, I have to leave. Let's, whoa, mama, let's see how it is. Looks like something exploded. Oh, yummy. What I was seeing is I had to leave and I came back. So this has been resting for about 15 minutes. So this is how I'm gonna know if it's done. On my little tip sheet, you can get, I've got a link, you can get some free download for you. You can snag that below. We can see that quick book breads need to be cooked to 190 degrees for that internal temp. Let's see how this is. And says 190 so it should be done we'll just do a little toothpick test too looks nice and clean we'll let it finish cooling here on a rack Ooh, look at that how beautiful i love how that just came out so nice and clean except for that part let's take a look here yummy okay i've been baking for hours and now it's time to do the pumpkin showdown, the ultimate taste test. Let's see what the kids think. All right, up first, chocolate chip cookie. Give it a try. Hold up your number of fingers for one out of five. Let's go. Mmm. I assign four. Mm, Three. I'd say four. Four? Five, because they're so freaking easy. What do you say? Oh, that's good, that's good. <clears throat> up next, donut. We're gonna split this one. We're gonna bite together, ready? Set, go. Mm. Four. It could be a stronger pumpkin, I feel like. Yeah, I don't taste like anything. It's like tasteless. Yeah. yeah. How weird. Because guess what? The cookies and the donuts are the exact same batter. I feel like I am have COVID. This, in, this yeah, mom, this one has You felt like you couldn't taste. It's like, yeah, it's kind of like when you have COVID and you can't taste. How funny. I thought they were good, but yeah, they did need stronger flavor. Maybe more of the pumpkin spice. It's three and a half. Mmm, pretty good. You like it, huh? Mm-hmm. Nobody else did. Really? Yeah. Tastes like cake. Next one, pumpkin puff pastry. Ready? One, two, three, go. Um, mm. I thought I was gonna like this one. Mmm. I'm gonna say three and a half. Pastry. Um, the texture is not that good, but it, it tastes actually kind of good. Four out of five. Next, piece of pumpkin bread. Don't have a bite yet. It's a quick bread. Ready, set, go. Oh, she just spit Actually, it out. It's healthy. Halloween season isn't supposed to be healthy. Though. So, score? <laughs> One and a half. Another three. I'm gonna go three. The texture's really good. It just is missing a little oomph. But I guess for healthy. I say zero. I don't like it. Zero for you. A one. Bread. bread. It's like banana bread. There's like pumpkin. The little cute pumpkin. I don't remember what these are called. Pumpkin bars. 
It's healthy too. This is not healthy. Hold please, hold please. Oh yes, you have to wait, mama said so. Ready, set go. Mmm, that one's really sweet. Best by far. Yeah, yeah that one. That was a five. Mm -hmm. That one's very sweet. Yeah, I like that one. Five. 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 Try this one. Whoa, that is so good. Three out of five. That one's a winner and easy too. If you would like more dessert recipes, we've got them up here for you. Check those out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next Bye. video. Bye.